I'm going to show you how I saved $8,000 on a Ducati X Diablo S. S is in sweet. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today first off a brand new 2017 x diablo s retails at 23 and a half thousand dollars now just to show you how much a brand new motorcycle can depreciate after a year let's look at the kelly blue book values for retail for a 2016 in excellent condition $18,600 that's nearly a five thousand dollar depreciation drop and trade-in value, $14,425. Now keep these numbers in mind compared to the sick deal that I got. First step I do when I'm trying to get a good deal is I go to CycleTrader.com and I type in the model name Ducati X Diablo S and I do a nationwide search. And then I refine the results uh, so that it shows the lowest price first nationwide. And as you can see here, it looks like these are used bikes, $16,999, but those are, are used bikes. The cheapest leftover new Ducati X Diablo S is $17,936, and that's a demo bike. So I figure I can do better than this. Let's try Craigslist. Let's do a nationwide search on Craigslist. So I go to Google. I type in Ducati X Diablo S Craigslist.org. And this will give me a search through Craigslist nationwide for the X Diablo S. Search through the postings. Various deals I come across. Here's one 2016 for $18,495. And not such a good deal. Here's a 2017 base model X Diablo. Uh, fifteen thousand nine ninety nine. Not such a good deal because the base model is like three thousand dollars cheaper than the S version. Doesn't have all the cool stuff. Then I come across this deal. Bam! Fourteen thousand nine ninety nine for the S version. However, it is used, but it has low miles at two thousand three hundred fifty seven miles. Man, it looks clean. They even have a link there where I can do a VIN check. Uh, bike is absolutely clean. Uh, clean title. Everything looks good on the bike. I contact the dealer the next day. And I mean, this ad had literally been posted four hours before I saw it. And this is a used car dealer out west who's also a fellow motorcycle enthusiast. I mean, we sat there and talked for about a half hour talking about motorcycles. But he told me this was absolutely awesome. He loved riding it. He said, I'm going to love it. Of course, he's going to say that he's a salesman. But he said it's super clean. He picked it up at a Harley Davidson dealership that was going out of business. And as a part of the bankruptcy, this was turned in. And he was able to pick it up at an auction for a really good deal. I, so I offered him 14000 He said, not a chance. Uh, he said 14008 and he was only going to make a $300 profit. He figured he'd sell it fast because it was heading in the winter, and he figured he'd have a hard time selling it. Uh, so I said, yeah, 148 sounds good. I said, does he need? You, do you need a deposit? And he said, no. You know, Just tell me when you're ready to transfer the money or send a check or whatever you want to do. I told him I'm paying cash. So I told him I had to find a shipper and see how much it was going to cost to, to get a ship. And at the time, the lowest, the cheapest price I could get uh, on you ship was like a thousand dollars, which I was like, man, that's kind of steep. And so, uh, but then I found another shipper I called directly that gave me the lowest bid, and he he gave it to me for uh, a shipping deal for five hundred dollars. So that would make the bike at like fifteen three, which is really a good deal. Then I contacted my local dealer to see if he can match that deal, like I taught you guys in my buying tips video. Um, and he said not a chance, but he said he did have a customer that might be willing to sell his 2016 X Diablo S. So he contacted him, and he he said that he'd give it to me for fifteen five, uh, but he'd add a five hundred dollar uh, on top of that to broker the deal, which which is okay. I mean. So sixteen thousand dollars, which I think, and it had only thirteen hundred miles, a thousand miles less than this bike out west. So I'm like, okay, I'd rather go with the local deal, pay seven hundred dollars more. I could see it before I buy it. Okay, bada boom, bada bang. He said fine, and but he kept crapping around and crapping around with it, and it was he was supposed to finalize a deal the following Wednesday, and that's one reason why I was doing those videos and told you I. Had, got the bike because I actually gave him my credit card for the deposit which he did not charge I found out 
And I felt like this was, he's playing around with me or something because when it came Wednesday to finalize the deal, he said that the owner of the bike uh, was trying to finance another bike because he buys new bikes every year. He's wealthy, supposedly. But I'm like, why is he financing a bike? That's stupid, man. But uh, he couldn't get a good deal, and he want, he said he gets a tax break or something like that if he does the deal at the same time as far as trade the bike in and get, you know, the finance deal but he had problems getting this low finance deal whatnot so he kept holding me off meanwhile my window of opportunity was closing because the shipper said he was coming into town and was going to pick it up that saturday at the you know that's it was either that day or never because he wasn't going to come back into town for about a month and the bike would probably be sold by then so i i i said okay i scrapped the local deal because he didn't even charge my card or anything. And he's beating around the bush. So I went ahead and I purchased that deal out west for the 14.8. Paid the uh, shipper $500. So it was like I said, 15.3. And the rest is history. And the bike came here. And thank God that the bike is in excellent condition. Because I really took a gamble. I normally do not purchase a bike that I don't see. That is super risky. However, I did do research on the dealer prior to purchasing the bike and he got five star ratings on Facebook and Google and every other place I did research on and he got excellent reviews uh, he had, has a reputable business he's a straight shooter and also I checked the VIN on the bike and it did match up to what he was saying it does have uh, you know it shows it was you know purchased at an auction it shows everything's clean on the bike clean title everything and uh, and also the local dealer uh, checked the VIN and he said that all the recall work was done first service was done and it's still under warranty until April 2018 so I figured I would you know if, if any problems I had with it I could take it up with you know with the warranty but thank God the bike came here in, in excellent condition as you guys see and uh, I'm really happy like I said it's it really risky when you do that I highly recommend not doing it the way I did it but it's like if you want to gamble your money it's it's a gamble and I I won <laughs> so tell me guys can you, I would love to see if you could find a better deal than this 15.3 on a bike with with this low miles 23.57 miles on it a 2016 as clean as this bike is man and all the recall work's done first service so I don't have to that's why I tell you when you buy a, a first year bike you're going to be dealing with recall work guys that's why I skipped buying the uh, the, the new Panigal V4 that was coming out. Because I knew there's there's going to be problems that have to be worked out. So what's good about this bike is that all that work has been done. That saves me time from having to go into the dealer. Also, the first service has been done. So that saves me money. And also, I saved like $8,000 had you know off instead of buying a new one. So... Hey, I'm happy, guys. For those of you that want to get my motorcycle gear, you know, my camel pants, my high-vis gear, helmet, gloves, cameras, everything, I always include links in the description and comment section of this video. Or you can go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear. And those are links to all of my gear, cameras, everything. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are playlists to all of my thousand plus videos to make it easier for you to navigate through my videos. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps my channel when you hit thumbs up and it helps me get motivated to do more videos. Hey, subscribe to my all in one motorcycle channel. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I got a ton of videos coming on the X Diavo. Anyways, catch you guys later. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original Bug Out Moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash Bug Out Moto. Subscribe today.